morning everyone welcome back to my channel today's video we're going to be talking about all the books that i read in the month of august ways yeah today we're going to be talking about the books i read in august it is september 12th i apologize for the late um update but better late than never one would say. So the first book that I read this month was Behind the Net. I rated this three and a half stars. I thought it was pretty fun. It was interesting. I have read a few books that have been hockey related. Most of them have been college hockey and so this was a twist on that because it was the NHL which I never read a book about the NHL which is National Hockey League. I think. Uh, I really like the main character. The main character's name is Jamie. I can't remember the or what the girl's name was. What was it? Just like, I can't find the protagonist's main or the main character's first name, but I thought it was interesting because Jamie was this hockey player and then she was a little lyrical, loved music. It was, she had had a crush on him growing up and then they ended up together and I just thought it was really cute. And yeah, it was pretty cringy and a little weird, but I just had so much fun reading it and I was kicking, giggling. It just, it got me. It got me. I read was Love Theoretically by Allie Hazelwood. I was so excited to read this one. All of Allie Hazelwood's novels and novellas have been five stars for me. This one, again, was also five stars. And I just thought this was so good. There were top tier Twilight and Taylor Swift references, which definitely secured it as a five star. Um, again, this is not like great literature by any means, but the way that it made me feel made me fall in love with reading and I couldn't, I couldn't put down the books. And so I would definitely recommend this if you like Allie Hazelwood. I'll say this one was a little bit different. I mean, it was still in the science realm, but I thought it was interesting because the main character was like, a dating escort which I know that sounds a little different she she didn't like offer sex she offered to be someone's girlfriend and I just thought that was so fun and different and it was definitely unlike anything I had ever read next book oh my gosh this book changed my life there is BM <laughs> and AM okay and BM is before manacles and AM is after Manacled because this book literally changed my life. It was so good. I rated it five stars. I actually, I just looked on my Goodreads and I didn't write a review because my plan was to go back and write it after I had had some time to think about it and I have yet to write my review. But oh my gosh, I have never read like fan fiction surrounding Harry Potter. I never grew up with Harry Potter. I never read the books until my sophomore year of college and I didn't watch the movies until my freshman year of college. And so Harry Potter is like, I knew nothing about it. So I wasn't a big fan or anything, but I had just seen so much about this fan fiction where I was like, I feel like I just have to read it. And for some reason in the month of August at the beginning, it was kind of towards the end of July too. My, um, my TikTok for you page for some reason just kept on catering me manacled videos. It was probably because I was interacting with them, but it was so good. Again, no words. I I need to write my review on it. I don't I honestly don't know if I can because I just can't explain how good this book was. First of all, well, first of all, the writing was actually really good for a fan fiction, and I just thought the thoughts were so well thought out and it was heartbreaking like this book is not happy it i cried at the end i have a video on my youtube channel of me finishing it and you guys should definitely go watch that because i just was sitting there for so long just being like wow i my life has literally changed and so now i only support like that to me is canon like this actually happened the ending deathly hollows by jk rowling didn't happen manacled by sinley yu changed my life <laughs> Lost, um, which is a never after novel i this is a fifth one it recently published it was either published end of july or early august i can't remember i rated it three stars i've rated all of the books in this like retelling well it's not necessarily a retelling it's more of just inspired off of fairy tales or stories we hear growing up so this one was based off of the hunchback of notre dame and i just thought it was <laughs> This is actually one of my favorites from these retellings. Um, yeah, I don't really know if I have much to say. It is definitely a little bit different. These are dark romances, which typically I feel like I'm not interested in dark romances. 
but I do like seeing how Emily McIntyre changes um, or reimagines these stories that we grew up with, which I already said all this, but yeah, three stars for that one. Randomly on my Kindle, I got an ad for a book called A Deal with the Elf King. And I don't know why, but I was like, I need to read this because it looked good. I love the description. So I rated that one 3.25 stars. So I thought it was interesting. I thought it was good. I love fantasy. I usually will like, I usually like fantasies that have to do with elves for some reason or fairies, um, which I think he was, yeah, he was an elf. It, or like vampires and this one was elf king it was forbidden she was like a human of sorts and he's an elf and so i thought that was interesting kind of like a forbidden romance if you will the reason why it was like a 3.25 versus anything higher than that was i thought the conflict in the story was a little bit underwhelming and so it just made it less of an interesting read like i honestly just wanted to get through it so i can mark it read on my goodreads versus actually wanting to read it for the story um so i probably won't be continuing on the series because i think this is a universe that the author is trying to do um but i probably will just stop here unless i get another random ad on my kindle for some reason crazy stupid romance apparently this month was a lot of romances i will say i was trying to finish up a lot of books that i had on my kindle so or finish up series i had read in the past so crazy stupid romance is the third book in the romance book club series and i rated this one five stars all of these books have been five stars for me i don't know what it is about them well actually i do it's a fact that it is about men pining after women women essentially i think that's why i love them so much because i feel like i tend to read romances where the wo the woman is the main character or it's a female protagonist and we hear all their thoughts and all their um obsessions or crushes and things like that and we see them putting in the effort um for i mean in a like heterosexual relationship we put we see them putting it uh, all the effort towards men and so I think it's fun to see the reverse of that and see that <laughs> men actually do care um <laughs> honestly I know that may sound weird but it's like it's just sweet seeing like men be obsessed with women and like in a good way not a bad obsession but wanting to um make things work and so that's why I really liked Crazy Stupid Romance. Um, I did write that this was my least favorite of the series so far, but I still enjoyed it nonetheless and would definitely recommend it if you like the series. And the last three books that I read are actually the first, second, and third book in the Eden series. So I, again, am reading this on my Kindle. I'm actually currently reading the fourth book right now, um, but we'll talk about that in my September tbr so if you guys want to see that you should definitely go watch that video which should be posted a couple days after this one um but anyways the first one is indigo ridge um this is about the the oldest brother i believe the eldest brother finding love with win i'm pretty sure that's her name and she's the sheriff and i've never read a book where the main character has been a sheriff so that was definitely a little bit different for me um but it was fun i really like it small town vibes i really enjoyed chestnut springs this past summer and so it was exciting reading another little small town romance family oriented story so yeah that was the first one and then juniper hill is the second one again i rated that one four stars and then garnet flats i rated four stars as well and they're all they're all like the same vibe they're small town I mean, we are, each romance novel follows one of the, the Edens, which are the siblings. There's three girls, three boys. And they're all, like, again, kind of the same essence of, of story, but the characters are different, which I think is very interesting. And it's cool because we get to see how the characters from previous novels are living their life, and I always really appreciate that. But yeah, that's all the books I read in August. Let's count how many I read. Read nine books. I'm pretty sure every single one of them is romance. One of them is fantasy, but subsection romance. So for some reason, oh wait, Manacled? Is that considered romance? I'm not sure. That's gonna be the end of this video. Let me know what you guys read in the month of August. I know we're already halfway through September. So let me know what you're reading this month and I will talk to you guys very soon. Peace and love. Bye, guys.